The feeling of fatigue and lethargy that some men experience after sexual intercourse or masturbation is a common phenomenon known as the post-orgasmic state or refractory period. This period is characterized by a temporary decrease in sexual arousal, a decrease in sexual interest, and a sense of relaxation and contentment. While the refractory period varies widely among men and may depend on a variety of factors, such as age, health, and sexual history, the underlying physiological mechanisms that drive this phenomenon are not well understood. One theory suggests that the release of hormones during orgasm may be responsible for the post-orgasmic state. During ejaculation, men release a variety of hormones, including prolactin, oxytocin, and endorphins. Prolactin is known to promote feelings of relaxation and sleepiness and is often associated with the onset of the refractory period. Oxytocin, on the other hand, is a hormone that is associated with feelings of bonding and intimacy and may contribute to the sense of contentment that many men experience after orgasm. Finally, endorphins are a group of hormones that are known to reduce pain and promote feelings of euphoria and pleasure which may also contribute to the sense of relaxation and contentment that follows ejaculation. Another theory suggests that the release of semen during ejaculation may contribute to the refractory period. Semen contains a variety of nutrients, including proteins, carbohydrates, and minerals, which are essential for sperm function and survival. The release of semen during ejaculation may cause a temporary decrease in blood glucose levels, which may contribute to feelings of fatigue and lethargy. In addition, the release of semen may also result in a temporary decrease in blood pressure, which may contribute to feelings of relaxation and sleepiness. Despite these theories, the underlying mechanisms that drive the refractory period are still not well understood, and additional research is needed to fully understand the physiological and psychological factors that contribute to this phenomenon. However, Several studies have provided some insights into the nature of the refractory period and its potential causes. One study, published in the journal Psychoneuroendocrinology, examined the relationship between prolactin and the refractory period in a group of healthy men. The study found that men who experienced a higher increase in prolactin levels after ejaculation tended to have longer refractory periods than men who experienced a smaller increase in prolactin levels. These findings suggest that prolactin may play a key role in the onset and duration of the refractory period. Another study, published in the journal NeuroImage, used brain imaging to examine the neural mechanisms that underlie the refractory period. The study found that the release of semen during ejaculation was associated with increased activity in the prefrontal cortex, an area of the brain that is involved in the regulation of emotions and behavior. The study also found that the release of semen was associated with decreased activity in the amygdala, an area of the brain that is involved in the processing of emotional stimuli. These findings suggest that the refractory period may be driven by complex interactions between different brain regions and that the release of semen may play a key role in modulating these interactions. Subscribing and liking the video are a great help thanks for watching.